ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Aimee Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We searched all over the country for people na hindi nagkasawang tagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. For 12 straight weeks, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Jaren Skuwaki is a BS Information Technology Senior from PUP na laging sumasalit sa mga quiz shows. Christine Magpile is a graduate of the University of Santo Tomas with a degree in secondary education. She is a teacher and an award-winning author. Makoy Arcega calls himself a Bicolano Millennial. And Missy Darsen is an emerging visual artist and a freelance graphic designer. She is a student from UP Diliman. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Andil Tiatko, Chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can in two minutes and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Let's begin our round one. Gerens, at 3,200 feet and located in Venezuela, what is the name of the world's highest waterfall? I don't know. Correct answer is Angel Falls. Christine, which 2013 song by Jay-Z has a title that also refers to the chalice Jesus used during the Last Supper? Holy Grail, Makoy, the second largest island in the world is owned by two nations. What is this island? Greenland. New Guinea, Malit. Missy, Anne Boleyn became the second wife of which monarch? Henry VIII, Gerens, what name is given for the meat of a deer? Fawn. Malet, venison. Christine, which former USSR Republic is now the largest landlocked country in the world? Russia. Malet, Kazakhstan. McCoy, the Knights of the Round Table belong to the fellowship of what king? King Arthur. Kate Missy, what flowers of a certain hemp plant is an important ingredient of beer? Ox. Oh. Gerens, what is a fabled land Plato said existed in the Western Ocean but vanished beneath the waves? Atlantis. Christine, named after its inventor, what do you call the resurfacing machine for ice skating rinks? Zamboni. Makoy, how is a star fruit or carambola called in Filipino? Kaimito. Male, balimbing. <laughs> Missy, what Sherpa term for rock bear describes the abdominal snowman of the Himalayas? <laughs> Yeti. And that's it for our first round, the K Check Paramihan round. Professor Marian, ano sa tingin mo ang nangyari sa first round? Kape kaya ang kulang? Ako po natanungin mo talaga. <laughs> ano yari? Uh, parang uh, yung paramihan, eh, hindi sila nakadami masyado. Pero kayang-kaya pang humabol yan. Meron pa naman tayong two rounds. So fighting lang ulit, ha? At the end of the K-Check paramihan, we have here the points garnered by our contestants. So leading the competition is Makoy at 10 points. And then we have Jerens, Christine, and Missy. Habol na lang po sila. Kayo, ilang tanong ang nasagot ninyo? Ako nakasagot ako ng ganun din. Mga tatlo lang siguro. Oh my gosh. At ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! To 
Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. But before we continue, may question muna ako kay Jaren. Curious lang ako, paano mo nakuha yung name mo? Kasi medyo unusual. Uh, galing po sa nanay at tatay ko. Pinaghalo lang na kami own twist din kung paano ginawa. Ikaw naman, Teacher Christine. Alin sa mga sinulat mo ang pinaka-proud ka? Um, sa mga sinulat ko, ang pinaka-proud ko ay yung children's story ko. Yung kayo manggi. Nagwagi siya ng... Um, ano siya, sa Filipino Reader's Choice Award, finalist siya. So, proud ako dun sa Kayumanggi kasi tungkol siya sa dog na si Kayumanggi na sumama sa katipunan. Makoy, may question ako sa'yo. Ano yung naging strategy mo para makarating ka sa weekly final? Um, siguro, find my zone and then make sure na kalmado lang para maalala yung mga pinagre-review kaninang umaga. Professor Anril, may mga tanong ka ba para sa ating contestants? Sige. K kasi dito sa K-Check, hindi lang ito pagalingan ng karunungan. Pagalingan din ito ng confidence level. Sige nga, itaas ang kamay kung sa tingin niya siya ang mananalo. What are we here for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ng bolang Christian. Thank you, contestants. Now it's time to go into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points, pero sa round na ito, maling sagot ay minus 10 points. Contestants, kailangan ninyong mag-strategize. Let's begin! Let's begin our Pabilisan Challenge. For the first question, which Filipina won a silver medal in the women's featherweight boxing class at the London Olympics in 2021? Jerens. Ah, uh, Nesty Patesho. Check. Next question. Shakira recently saw her single, Don't You Worry, hit the music charts. What group that includes Apple the App recorded Don't You Worry with Shakira and David Guetta? Jerens. The Black Eyed Peas. Okay, check. Which common open wireless technology was named after a king of Denmark? McCoy. <laughs> Sorry, Bluetooth. Okay, check. Which 1991 film became the third one to win the top five Academy Awards? Best Picture, Best Actress for Jodie Foster, Christine. Silence of the Lambs. Okay, check. Who is the only NBA player that has more NBA championship rings than he has fingers? Minus 11. The correct answer is Bill Russell. Which 17th century English physician is remembered for his discovery and description of the full circulation of the blood in the human body? Ang tamang sagot ay William Harvey. Our next question. In 1762, Manila fell to an East Indies squadron that sailed from Madras, India. What country conquered and occupied Manila that year? Christine. Dutch. Mali. McCoy. Netherlands. Mali. <laughs> The answer is Great Britain. The Muslim calendar begins with the flight of Muhammad from Mecca to, to Medina. What do you call this historic journey? Hey, Christine. Okay, check. Named after one of Poseidon's offspring, what is the largest moon of the planet Neptune? Ang tamang sagot ay Triton. The JWST recently released images of faraway galaxies never before seen in such fine detail. What does JWST stand for? The answer is James Webb Space Telescope. Which film franchise starring Keanu Reeves had three films from... Jaren! John Wick! Christine. Matrix. Matrix. 
1947, who became the first pilot confirmed to have exceeded the speed of sound in level flight? At ang sagot sa huling katanungan ay Charles Chuck Yeager. Thank you, contestants. That ends our round two. Wow naman, nakarecover talaga tayo dyan. Oh. Professor Neil, what do you think? Yung mga contestants parang diesel, uh, mabagal, pero dahan-dahan ng bumibilis. So, lalong, sana lalong bibilisan sa next round. Thank you, Professor Neil. Silipin naman natin ngayon ang ranking ng mga contestants. Leading the competition, we have Christine at 50 points. She is followed by Jerens at 30 points. And at third place, we have Makoy at 20 points. Missy Habol! But we still don't know how his story will end until we get to the ultimate pagalingan. Up next, here on K-Check! back with Christine in first place, will she pull away or can any of the remaining contestants grab the lead? We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para madagdagan ang pressure sa ating mga contestants, in this round sa mga professors sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling First K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, Contestants. let's begin! Ang round na ito ang definitely make or break para sa competition. Mananalo kaya si Christine at 50 points? May laban din si Jarens at 30? Or si Makoy kaya at 20? Missy, habol! Junelle? Let's begin! Our question number one, Prof. Anril. Okay, so sa mga mahihilig sa bundok dyan, baka masagot nyo to. Nepal's Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain, while Nevado's Ojos del Salado is the world's highest volcano. Which country is this volcano from? This country is also one of the geographical um, sections of the Southern Andes. This means it's a mountainous area in South America and this is Chile. Chile. Prof. Marian, question number Chile. two. Do you like planets? Okay. If two planets are separated by a distance d and are brought closer together such that their separation distance is now half of the original, how much stronger would their gravitational force attraction be? Okay, remember, force is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance. So, kung kakalahatiin yung distance times 4, yung magiging effect sa gravitational force. Thank you, Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil, question number 3, please. What is the major ethno-linguistic group in Batanes? Gerens. Ibatan. Ang grupong etniko na ito ay nakaugat sa kabias ng Asunisyano na may pagkakatulad sa ilang pangkat etniko sa Taiwan. Ang tamang sagot ay itbaya. Kaycha. Prof. Unreal, present please. Okay. Sa mga mahihilig sa panitikan, this Philippine literary tradition is a poetry composed of only four lines, and each line has eight syllabications. What writing tradition is this? Christine. If you're familiar with the sculpture Magdangal by national artist Napoleon Abueva, Rio Alma, national artist, wrote a dedication to the work through this particular literary genre, Dalit. K-check! Prof. Marian. 
ito na lang, may, kasabay, may kasabihang may sala sa init, sala sa lamig. Ang tanong ko, at what temperature will the reading in the Celsius and Fahrenheit scale be the same? So, di ba memorize nyo dati yung Fahrenheit equals centigrade times 9 over 5 plus 32. Or centigrade equals F minus 32 plus 5 times 5 over 9. Gagawin nyo lang, equate nyo lang. And the answer will be negative 40 degrees. Thank you. Prof. Neil, your question please. What is the major Islamic ethnic community in the provinces of Lanao del Sur and Lanao del Norte? Gerens. Maranao. Ang kahulugan ng pangalan ng grupong etniko na ito ay People of the Lake, o mga taong naninirahan sa lawa. Tanyag din ang grupong etniko na ito bilang mga mangangalakal na Muslim na makikita mula sa uh, lungsod ng Baguio sa Hilaga hanggang sa lungsod ng Cagayan de Oro sa Timog. Ang tamang sagot ay Maranao. Okay, check. Prof. Andrea, next question. Okay. So kung kayo ay tagasunod ni The Late Cherry Hill, masasagot nyo ang tanong na ito. In 1982, Peke Galiaga directed a historical drama set in Negros during the Second World War. Well, the film starred Sandy Andalong, Joel Torre, and The Late Cherry Hill. Nabanggit ko nga. And it was produced by the Experimental Cinema of the Philippines. At ang sagot ay Oro, Plata, Mata. K-Check! Prof. Marian. Gusto ko namang makarinig ng buzzer, pwede. At makasabi ng K-Check. O ito, madali lang to addition. What is the sum of the whole numbers from 1 to 100? Makoy! 5,050. Finally, the sum is equal to 100 times 101 over 2, 5,050. Okay, check! Yay! Prof. Neil. Ako naman ang gusto kong mapakinggan yung sasagot ay ibang contestant. Kasi parang isang contestant lang sumasagot sa tanong ko. Okay, so ito yung tanong. What is the collective term for the alternative press that resisted the Marcos dictatorship. Sa lakas ng censorship ng diktaturang Marcos, uh, naglipa na maliliit na mga malayang pahayagan na tumindig nung panahon ng batas militar. Ang tamang sagot ay mosquito press. Prof. Andrew? Okay. With a length of about 500 kilometers, what is the longest river in the Philippines? Christine, Cagayan River. This river is located in the Cagayan Valley region in northeastern part of Luzon and traverses in the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya, Quirino, Isabela, and Cagayan. At ito nga ang Cagayan River. K-check! Prof. Marian. Meron ba sa inyo mahilig manood ng mga crime series? This is my question. At a crime scene, police officers usually use this to detect the presence of blood. This compound reacts with the iron present in the blood, thereby exhibiting chemiluminescence. What is the name of this compound? Makoy. Luminol. So, I think na nood si McCoy ng mga crime series, Luminol K. Check! Prof. Neil? Okay, para sa huling tanong. This refers to the natural and absolute capacity and the right of the state to carry out its own objectives and to declare freedom from the control or invasion of other states. Jaren. Liberation. Sovereignty. Christine. Sovereignty. 
nakuha natin ito ng lumaya tayo mula sa kolonyalismo. Patuloy natin itong itinataguyod sa bangayan ng mga bansa sa West Philippine Sea. Ang tamang sagot ay sovereignty o kasarinlan. And that's it for KCheck Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Christine, our KCheck Friday winner with a final score of 140 points. Christine is taking home a brand new cell phone from PBUP. We'll see her again in the semi-final. Thanks to Missy, McCoy, and Jerens for joining. We would also like to thank our panel members. We have Professor Neil, Professor Anil, and Professor Marian. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -check.